So in a patient with obstructive lung disease, when you're trying to figure out if they're potentially auto beeping, there are three ways that you can do this. The first is just by looking at the flow versus time and trying to see if the expiratory flow actually reaches zero. Sometimes it's hard to see unless you magnify it, so it's worthwhile just magnifying the flow curve to see if there's actually flow reaching zero by the time the next breath gets triggered. And here you can see that it's not. The second but less reliable way is by looking at the inhale tidal volume, which is 500, and looking at the exhale tidal volume, which here is less than inhaled, indicating auto peak. But after several breaths, the volume's been equalized, so you can't rely on this. And the last way that you can measure the auto peep is by actually doing an expiratory pause maneuver by pressing this button here, which will calculate for you intrinsic or auto peep. And here it's about 3.5, which is in addition to the peep that you set at 5, giving you a total peep of 8.6. So once you've identified that the patient is auto peeping, there are three ways that you can fix this. You can adjust the patient's respiratory rate, and this is assuming that the patient is adequately sedated and paralyzed, otherwise they'd be overbreathing the vent. You could also decrease the tidal volume or you could increase the flow rate. The most bang for your buck though is going to be decreasing the respiratory rate in order to increase the amount of time available for expiration.